Hey everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. On this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to uninstall Google Chrome completely from your computer. Now, you would think that I'm actually going to just go to Programs and Features and just uninstall Google Chrome, but it's not just going to be that. We're actually going to be going to Little Dep and see where there's additional files saved in App Data and little temp files that are there and additional files that you don't really need on there to officially get it cleared out. And this is pretty much also going to be able to be done on Windows 10, 8, 7, or Vista. If you technically need help on XP, I can make a video on that, but it's a little outdated if I believe that. But let's go ahead and just jump right into this video. Alright guys, so the first thing you're pretty much going to do is going to go to the Start menu. And from there we'll go to Settings on Windows 10, and then you'll see Apps. And then you can just simply scroll down until you see Google Chrome and you'll press uninstall and that would be pretty much it. But if you technically have like Windows 8, you might need to go to start corner, start menu, and you'll see it on the right side like the search engine. And what you're going to do is pretty much going to search for control panel. And pretty much on this point we're going to get the same location. We're going to go ahead and type in control panel. I totally misspelled that, but it seems it came up. Let me just spell it correctly for you. I typed in control and this pretty much came up. Windows 7, Windows 8, you'll pretty much get to the same location. Now you might have two different layouts. You might have one that looks like this and you could just pr pretty much just press programs from there. Or if not, you can go to large icons and then from there you'll choose programs and features. You'll pretty much get to the same location. And again, from going to here or through settings that I'm going to show you again, just to help you out in case you get to that point. Settings to apps, you'll see Google Chrome right here. You can select it to uninstall. Or you can just simply go to here too. You can click it or double tap it. It'll do the same thing. And you'll be prompted if you want to remove it. And it'll tell us that you're sure you want to uninstall Google Chrome. Also browsing data. We'll go ahead and check that if we can. And we'll go ahead and press uninstall. And then pretty much it's getting cleared out. It came a pop up on here telling that Google Chrome has been uninstalled. I'm going to go ahead and just X that out. I'm going to refresh this. So Google Chrome is pretty much gone. So let me go ahead and exit out. And you'll think that's pretty much it. But actually, we still need to go to a few more locations to get to there to continue clearing it out. Next, we're going to do is go ahead. I can just simply just open up this PC. But in case you don't have it on your desktop, you'll see the Explorer. And then you'll see this PC right there, depending if you have Vista, Windows 7, or 8. It, it might just be called Computer on that location. Or they changed their name somewhere around that time. I'm not sure if it was like 8 or 10. Um, regardless, you, you'll get to that location and you'll go to C drive and then next you'll go to users. Now technically you might have multiple users. You might need to go through them and to select them. Now a little trick on this, you could type in slash right there and you could just type in, um, percentage, um, usernames, then it's percentage and actually will skip to the current users that you're on. But if not, you can just manually select it. Inclusion you still need to type the additional location. So we'll type in the name of the user, then slash. And what we're going to do is go ahead and type in app data. And it's pretty much a hidden folder. I can show you a way to enable this to show it, but it's pretty simple if you just get to this location. Next, you'll go to local. Actually, I'll just show it to you real quick. In case you want to, um, you might have a view option right here. They may not show it right here on Windows 7 or 8. So we'll go to options, and you'll see, well, it decided to disappear on me. There it is. And you'll go to view and you'll select show hidden folders if I'm correctly right here, folders. So if I go back underneath user, you'll see app data and that pretty much shows it to you right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back to hidden icons, back off. Okay, from this point right there, we're going to go to local and we're gonna look for a folder called Google. And here's Google right here and it contains crash and software reports tools that were there from pretty much Google Chrome. There might be also a folder underneath called Chrome in there. Regardless, we're going to go ahead and just delete this whole file right here. And for this, you can press delete on it, or you can hold shift and press delete. I'm going to go ahead and just press delete for right now, and that will go to the recycle bin right now. Now, next, if we have any additional files, um, technically, another option might be here underneath local, whether it be Google. I don't like to say Google Chrome and user data. You can select that if you just want only that part locations too. Um, but we pretty much already deleted that file. Um, let's just see if there's anything else that's pretty much needed for this. Next, we're going to go to C Drive and we're going to go to Programs 86. And here's Google right here. 
These are probably files that are also saved from like Google Chrome. I'm pretty much going to go ahead and delete that file too. We don't need it anymore. I'm probably going to check also underneath program files. I do not see it, so that's pretty good. Um, again, if we have the hidden files enabled, well then you'll see different folders. And here's a hidden folder called program data right here. Now I don't really see it here. If it was in here, you actually would probably see Google Chrome or Google on there possibly. And you'll select that file and clear it out. Let me see if there's any additional locations that I'm leaving in there. So let's see what else I can find underneath here. I think we're pretty much cleared out. Um, let me see if there's any other information that I have. Now I think I pretty much have everything. Let's see. We have the stuff out of programs. We got the stuff out of programs from here. We got the files from users out of the list right here. If you had different users, you might have additional files there. I don't think there's anything in pro public. Let's actually check like that. Slash app data. There's no app data because it's pretty much just that um, public user. So I think we're pretty much good. And these are probably from past ones right here. We can probably go to program files. Now let's see if they're actually in here. They're actually not in this either. That's from a past Windows update, but that's fine. And it seems that we're pretty good on this computer. And that's pretty much it. Oh, last thing to do out of this, after you actually cleared and deleted those files, we're going to go to Recycle Bin. And there's a couple folders that came out of there. I'm going to go ahead and just empty the Recycle Bin. And everything should be getting shredded out of there. And now you are good. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair. I'll see you on another video. Also, before I quickly, um, I have an awesome shirt that we bought here. If you want to help us out, that will be great. But again, thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.